Perhaps it was ordained at his birth that Charlie Hanna would become a football star, but it certainly didn't start that way for the Albertville, Alabama native. The son of former Alabama and New York Giant lineman Herb Hanna, Charlie was the second son who would go on to help lead the Crimson Tide to championships. A high school coach in Albertville declared the 6'2", 130-pound sophomore was too skinny to play. But after transferring to the Baylor Academy in Chattanooga, Charlie grew taller, reaching 6'6", and he added 60 or so pounds to make him a rangy linebacker with some talent. Several colleges wanted him, but he had no problem in choosing his family school, the University of Alabama. He made the traveling squad in 1973, mainly because he was quite adequate as a deep snapper. He saw his first varsity action in the 66 to nothing shellacking of California, a team that featured future NFL players Chuck Muncie, Vince Ferragama, and Steve Bartkowski. Although he started out his Crimson Tide career as an offensive lineman, he was shifted to the defensive side where he excelled from 1974 through 1976. There were many memorable wins back then, especially the 30 to seven victory over Tennessee in 1975 when Hanna teamed with the likes of Bob Baumhauer and Leroy Cook to help sack the Volunteers 13 times. In a rare Paul Bryant moment, Coach Bryant walked into the team meeting on Sunday and asked his defensive lineman to stand up. Admitting he was a little scared of the coach's request, he was quickly relieved when the legendary coach told the other players to thank them for beating Tennessee. Voted the team defensive captain in 1976, Charlie waited for the NFL draft, where Tampa Bay selected him in the third round. He started his career for John McKay's Bucks as a defensive tackle, but a knee injury influenced his coaches to shift him to the offensive line. It would prove to be the most successful move, as he flourished for four more seasons with Tampa before they traded him to the Los Angeles Raiders. The Raiders needed help at left guard and Charlie provided it, starting there for the next six seasons, including the 1983 season. The Raiders would win it all that year, culminating their championship run by crushing the Washington Redskins 38-9 in a familiar place to Hannah, Tampa Bay. Charlie was a key blocker on the Raider rushing attack that featured NFL Hall of Fame Marcus Allen throughout the Super Bowl 18 season. In 1985, he was named the All-NFL Team, and he would go on to play until the 1989 season, finishing his career with 126 games started. Tonight, the all-time Crimson Tide great and Super Bowl winning NFL lineman joins a long list of other football greats, including brother John as a member of the State of Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs>